So back in my Halloween vlog series from 2019, I did kind of a rundown of my setup of my Jason figures and I figured I'd give the same treatment here to some Halloween figures. Kind of ironic since I did Friday the 13th on Halloween and now I'm doing Halloween uh, nowhere near either of those days. I just kind of was setting these guys back up. I was kind of moving around some figures. I figured it'd be worth kind of going through them. First up is the Evolution of Evil 2 pack. I reviewed this long, long ago. These figures have both been beaten the hell up. They've uh, moved a couple times to uh, different locations and stuff, different houses. So uh, their arms are both broken and stuff. So that kind of sucks. I do really hope someday we'll get a new version of this. The head sculpt isn't bad on Myers. Uh, I don't like how visible the eyes are through it, even with the lighting. The only way he's really ever looking like he has the blackest eyes is if the light is directly above him. But overall the detail's okay. I'm glad I know this is definitely not a bootleg, unlike some idiots who uh, buy the carded one from China and then are surprised when it's not the real figure. Then, of course, the bonus was young Mikey here as well. Also had a different tombstone. This is the one from, I think, the 2018. And then the pumpkin that is light up. So if you press the little top... Oh, I thought the batteries had given up on me for a minute. Yeah, he kind of lights up still. Uh, only if you push really hard on the stem of the pumpkin, which is a bit annoying. I do love the little, like, converse they gave the young Mikey figure. And uh, his knife, I lost his knife as well. These things used to live on top of my fridge in my last apartment. And I think his knife went tumbling behind the fridge somewhere. So that is also from the uh, H40. Not a complete set, but uh, I am glad to have some representations from the original film. We got the H2 Myers. I don't know, I'm torn on this figure. Some details on it I like a lot. Others, I mean, he is a pretty bulky, I think even beyond what Dick Warlock was. I don't think any of the masks look particularly great with this figure. They all look a little goofy to me. I do like the weathering on the torso. I think they just tried to use this body for too many figures, like Roy, and I think it is the same as the H40 for the most part, so it's a bit annoying that it's just kind of a generic mold instead of being more movie specific. We want to go old, NECA. We got the uh, Rob Zombies Michael Myers here. This was from the cult classics icons line i believe the single carded figures that had no real extras to speak of so it was just this head sculpt another head sculpt they don't really care for the weathering is pretty shallow on it the eyes really stick out behind it just a bit of a bummer and the paint on it just overall kind of sucks the red's a little too pinkish and intense in places and uh i don't know like even look at the chest hair on him just looks kind of sloppy not my favorite figure but it is one of the few representations of a Rob Zombie Myers in plastic, so gotta kinda take what you can get, I guess. The details on the coveralls are pretty decent. I think the knife is okay. So behind him here, I've got what I believe is a bootleg of the original release figure. The original release came not just with the standard look here and his little knife, but he came with a different knife that I don't think I could show you very well. It was a different kind of knife as well. And then the escape mask, and then this little diorama base here with the Myers tombstone and the ground. Now looking at these figures side by side, I know this guy here is authentic. This guy in the back I picked up at a comic shop as a loose figure, and I am fairly confident he's bootleg. He looks a lot shinier, his body looks a little wonky compared to the one I know is real. So unless there was a bit of retooling and some major differences between the two, I am willing to bet this is likely not the real McCoy back here, but stuck him in the back with the escape mask on. It'd be kind of cool to make a custom body of the sanitarium costume instead of the jumpsuit and have that version of Myers in back, to be quite honest. And then up here in front, the only only H2 figure we got, and uh, this is a Mezco, the only Mezco up here. Oh, I forgot to look at the uh, little pumpkin that came with the uh, H2 as well, but yeah, the only Mezco we've got, pretty bare bones, Cinema Fear, one of the very late Cinema Fears, I don't think it was even in one of the lines, I believe this was a separate release similar to the uh, 2009 Jason. Not very articulated, which was pretty standard for the time, he's got this really gnarly hand here where he's like grasping in a very awkward pose. This is also back when Mezco was doing that thing. Let me see if I could show you. The uh, thumb would be pointing straight down on a gripping hand. It was a weird thing that they did for a while on several figures, which I also thought was a very odd choice. The knife's pretty cartoony looking and uh, the mask is not good. I mean, it has a little bit of like the look from the hospital scene going on here, but not really. 
It had the beard sticking out of the bottle. I ended up cutting it off mine because I liked it better where it looked like he was on that original night and not like this big hairy hobo version of Myers. It's almost like they made a hybrid. And I think they did use this head sculpt for their uh, larger figure as well, their 12 inch that was a hobo Myers. It was really ugly looking, but just not a good head sculpt. The proportions on that mask are just bad. I always used to like Mezco Cinema Fear, like their stylization and everything, but this is one of those figures where it just did not do anything for me. So then we got the uh, H40 over here, and uh, this is the one I customized a little bit. The body and everything are still the same as they were, but I did redo the mask with some weathering. I have a video on that as well. And uh, this is the uh, this is the clean one, right? Yeah. I actually did weather up the dirty one as well, or I made one so that it had the blood splatter on the side, because one of the heads, I guess, was supposed to be Nick Castle, and one was supposed to be James Jude Courtney, and I really don't care enough to figure out which one was which, so I just took one of the heads and customized it to be the end scene of the movie. And once again, same body as we got in the H2, just a different kind of like wrapper over top of it to create this upper torso outer coating so no bullet holes and a bigger collar and all that but i don't know it's an okay figure but not one i love but i'm thinking if we get more myers from NECA, it's gonna still be all off this body which is a bit of a disappointment and then we do have the uh, hard ice pumpkin that lights up much easier and uh actually stays lit which is nice compared to that original one and it flickers which is cool i just don't like that pumpkin very much and then we have the uh, officer francis head which i wish lit up because that would be cool got her jamie lee curtis figure over here she did not come with activity accessories i don't think i reviewed her i haven't reviewed much lately and she came out not that long ago so that would make sense but she's a decent looking figure oh she serves her purpose i think she's a little I guess I would have just preferred an old uh, original Laurie Strode, original film, versus this remake or this sequel version. But uh, for what it is, I'm glad we got it. And I got Sam hanging out there, the new Ultimate Sam, just because of Halloween, he fits in well. And uh, yeah, I couldn't not have this character displayed. Sam's one of my favorites. But yeah, so that's uh, that's my current Myers lineup. I am really hoping with Halloween Kills and Halloween Ends coming out in the next two years that we're going to get more Myers figures. You know, I want to say something about what I'm anticipating for figures coming this year. I don't know. I, I don't feel like the information I have is very insider. I think it's a pretty commonly well-known leak. But uh, if you don't want to hear extra stuff about Halloween Kills, I would tune out now. Yeah, so I would go ahead and shut the video if you are one of those people that thinks... Pretty much anything's a spoiler. I guess this could be minor spoilers, but I don't think it's going to be a big surprise to anybody. So, uh, yeah, three, two, one. Okay, I'm going to talk about shit now. And uh, basically, Halloween Kills, uh, I think we've been, it's been confirmed there is a 1978 scene. There's more of that original night with Michael Myers. And what I'm really hoping is that, you know, whatever version we get here, you know, an update on this H40 look. I don't know what he's going to be, like missing fingers and super bloody and whatever he is. I am really hoping they use that opportunity to get around the likeness rights and get us a uh, original Michael Myers figure out of it. That would be really cool, even if it's maybe a little different based specifically on Halloween Kills. I'm not sure how totally accurate it will be to the original film. But it would be a great excuse, same way places like Trick or Treat Studios have used the Halloween 2 license, which NECA does have, to get around the rights of making an original Halloween mask by making the early scenes of Halloween 2, which use clips from the original Halloween. I don't really know the rights behind all that, like what's legally allowed and whatnot, but man, it would be cool if we got to see that. So fingers crossed that's coming. Also, those new, uh, those new sculpts, the Laurie Strode and Loomis they're doing for those Retro cloth figures, god damn I hope they put them into a uh, smaller, more plastic series of figures because I don't care for those retro cloth and their soft sculpts, but those prototypes that, uh, I think it was a Trevor Grove I think is who sculpted those, like those things look phenomenal, so I hope they actually get decent treatment and made into real figures and not little dolls.